guys, I'm Jack and I'm Marcella and today we are going to talk to you about the TV shows that we are going to be watching this fall. We watch a lot of a TV A lot shows. of TV. <laughs> like a lot. So we're going to go through it by the day of the week. Yeah. That way it's just easier yeah. and more organized. Yeah. Monday, returning October 9th, we have Supergirl. We love Supergirl. Love Supergirl. And we are very big Caramel fans, so we are very, very excited, very excited. for this upcoming season. They're gonna, it's going to be really good. We can't wait. Then at 10 o'clock, we're going to be watching a new show. It's this called The Good Doctor on ABC, and it comes out September 25th. This is the one with Freddie Highmore. If you don't know who Freddie Highmore is, he is Norman Bates from Bates Motel. We, he, yeah, we loved him on Base Motel, he's a great so actor. we're definitely excited to watch him in this yeah, show. Yeah, it seems like it's going to be a doctor show, but it's going to be, I think that he has, I, I don't know, I don't know, but I'm yeah, excited. All I, all I really know is that it's a doctor show with him. With Freddie Highmore, yeah. I am excited. We're going to check it out for sure. Now on Tuesday, Tuesday is a good day, guys, 8 o'clock, we have The Flash, yes. and the CW yeah. with Barry, and yeah, <sighs> Barry, yes. <laughs> returns on October 10th. Cannot wait. Nine o'clock we have This Is Us which we love that show. The writing yeah. on that show is so wonderful and the characters are just really good. Like yeah. it's just a really well planned out show and all the characters are really likable. And it's an emotional yeah, show though. It it's an emotional gets, one. It definitely gets you right in like the feels of that yeah, show. It's very family oriented. Mm -hmm. If you haven't seen season one, we highly suggest watching it because yeah, it's definitely good. worth a watch. And it's very interesting because certain storylines parallel each other and it's just so wonderful that show. It's really Go wonderful. watch it if you haven't. <laughs> so This Is Us returns on September 26th, so, so very soon. soon. And at 10 o'clock on Tuesdays, we're going to be watching American Horror Story, which comes back September 5th, so that's so soon. That's very soon, too. <laughs> yes. And they're doing cult this season. Uh-huh, which seems like it's going to be a bunch of clowns. Clowns, yeah. I mean, we really love Evan Peters. He's our favorite mm, character definitely. on the show. And it's an interesting show. Our Some favorite season, season. Our favorite season was season was one. That, was season one. Murder for sure. House. Yeah. Yeah. We're looking forward to American Horror Story to see what's gonna happen this season and where they're gonna go with this season. Yeah, because they always do a bunch of twists and turns. So that's Tuesday. Wednesday. We will be watching at 8 o'clock, October 11th, Riverdale. We Riverdale. love Riverdale. We love Jughead so much. And with the way season one ended, it was very We're very excited crazy. to see what happened. Because, yeah, that ending, it was a huge yeah. cliffhanger if you guys watch Riverdale. Yeah. And, yeah, we're really excited to see what happens. I can't wait. I miss those characters. And I miss the... Mm -hmm. It's a really cool mystery element Yeah, if you it. haven't watched it, give it a chance. It takes yeah. some getting into. You just have to keep pushing yourself, keep watching yeah. it. And it, do, it does get very good. Then at 9 o'clock, September 27th, it's so soon, Survivor. We, we love Survivor. Survivor is just, oh, it's really, it's so a reality good. show. And I'm sure you guys all watched Survivor when you were younger. Yeah. But yeah, it's still going on. It's on like season 30 something. Yeah. And it's just, it's a really fun show. It's just like a bunch of challenges. What is it? It's an outwit, outlast, outplay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what it is, is if you don't know what Survivor is, it's basically they take these 20 castaways and they put them on an island and they have to vote people off and there's different tribes They're all and they competing play. for a million dollars. Yeah, if you haven't watched it, please watch this season with us. We would love to talk about it with you guys Definitely. because you don't have to watch them season by season. Our favorite season, if you want to go on Amazon, you could binge watch all of it. It's a great show to binge watch. Our favorite is Cook Island because Ozzy is our favorite. We love Ozzy mm -hmm. and we love Parvati. Those are like our two Those favorites. Those are our two favorites, yeah. You definitely go watch it on Amazon and they, it's really cool because they do returning players mm -hmm. and... It's a fun show. Yeah, it's a great show. <laughs> Thursday, Thursday at 8 o'clock we will be watching Grey's Anatomy oh, and that comes show. back... <laughs> Grey's Anatomy comes back September 28th. So Grey's An We've been with Grey's Anatomy for so long. So, so long. <laughs> it's just one of those shows that just gets you. And yeah. we've just been with these characters for forever, it feels like. And yeah. we know them so well. And we, we cry, like, pretty much every episode. Yeah, it's a really, <laughs> it's a great show. It's yeah. so fantastic. And Shonda Rhimes is the creator, and she 
brilliant. It's, it's and wonderful. It's very, it's changed a lot. Like, if you start watching it from season 1 to season 14, which we're going on, it's had so many different characters have come in mm -hmm. and out of the show, but there still is, Meredith is still our main character, and it's just her and journey. Even though so many characters left, it's still it's good. It's an amazing show because the writing is just so great on it. It's such a great, it's such and a well-written show. Yeah, yeah, it's just, it's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> and now on October 12th at 9 o'clock, we will be watching Arrow, which yeah. we also left pretty bad last season. So yeah. we're excited to get back to that. <laughs> yes. And yeah, it's going to be different because they switched the days for Arrow. That's, they that did. That was never on on Thursdays, so that's going to no. take some getting used to. Yeah, they Which is going to be Riverdale interesting how they do that with the crossovers. Yeah, I'm not but, too sure how they're doing that, but... Yeah, we're excited for Arrow. I'm excited to see what's going to happen with Arrow, because of that finale. <laughs> so Friday, Friday we will be watching, at 8 o'clock on October 6th, we will be watching Once Upon a Time Season 7. Mm -hmm. It's so different now with the way the Very show is different. going, and it's the final season, and I we just really enjoy the show. We've been with the show for a very long time as well, and... We're very yeah. curious on how they're going to do that. Yeah, very season. curious. If you've never seen Once Upon a Time, it's a really great show. If you love, like, Disney and fairy tales, you'll definitely love it. At 9 o'clock, we will be watching Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, and She's that returns <laughs> October 13th. I feel like Crazy Ex-Girlfriend doesn't get enough hype. Like... It's I don't so think it I don't though. think that many people watch it as much yeah. as the other shows that we're naming and it's really really funny yeah and you de should definitely check it out if you haven't if seen you it. don't know what it is it's a comedic musical so there's musical numbers and season one is definitely the best season season two was good it wasn't on the same level as season one but it's still a really good show and it's just really funny and there's drama but the music in it is really catchy and it's a really fun, mm -hmm. entertaining show to watch. And now Saturday at 8 o'clock, we will be watching Outlander. This returns on September 10th. Like, really, really fun I for Outlander. I can't wait. It usually it's on every summer, and it wasn't yeah, on this summer. It. Exactly. If you guys don't know what Outlander is, it's about, it's a time travel romance. Like, this girl, she's in the, she's in the 40s, and she's a nurse, a World War II nurse, and she's in Scotland on her honeymoon, and she touches the stones, and it transports her into Scotland, and Jamie she, Fraser, Jamie is Fraser. There. the love story, and that is so wonderful and i just love jb so so much and season two mm -hmm. ended so heartbreaking and i'm so excited yeah. for the season three sunday at eight o'clock we watch teen wolf and this is we can't really say that too much longer because this ends september 24th yeah, this is like the last tv show yeah. schedule video teen wolf will be in it's that's really sad, sad it's ending but... and <sighs> just gotta enjoy it all last. Yes. If you guys know us, you know we love Teen Wolf. Love Teen Wolf. It was the first show we did reactions for, yeah. so it always has a special place in our heart. It's gonna be really upset to let that go, it but is. it was. It's been a. It's been such a. Great it's been a crazy ride. Work. Crazy ride with Team Wolf. <laughs> crazy ride for sure. <laughs> then at 10 o'clock, returning October 22nd, is Walking Dead. Oh, Walking Dead. Oh, I love Walking I'm Dead so much. Because I feel like this season's going to be a lot more of like the actual, like yeah. what we were building up to last season. Mm -hmm. And we're yeah. going to get more like of like what we want. Yeah. I don't want to like spoil anything yeah, I say I know, what yeah. I want, but if you if you watch the show, yeah. you know what we're talking about. As Walking Dead is such a it's such a great show and it it's just a it's an amazing show to be. It's binge another watch. one that you've been with the characters a long time yeah. and you get really attached to them yeah. and you watch them grow and mm -hmm. you watch new characters come in and then other characters die. <laughs> Basically, yeah. It's a great show to binge if you've never seen oh, Walking yeah, Dead. You should definitely binge, binge it. It's a it's you have a great time. You won't sleep either because yeah. I remember we binged that show a really we long did. a while ago, and yeah. I think we binge watched like the first like four five seasons. I don't know. We binge watched it at some point. I remember we didn't sleep for like a weekend, yeah. and that was it. <laughs> Just go I watch it. That. On Sunday, we also will be watching. The Royals, but we don't know when that returns. The Royals, we don't have a date yet, but... No date, the but... We love no. The Royals. If you don't know what it's about, because I feel like that's another underrated show. Yeah. Basically, it's the it's like a fictional royal family, mm -hmm. and you get to see like the behind the scenes of the royal family. Yeah. And it's really funny. It's hilarious. If you know um, Mark Schwann, who created One Tree Hill, he created The Royals. 
so that right it's there a great like, show right yeah. there like the writing is just mm -hmm. perfect and it's just there's a really good ship on it jasper and eleanor are my favorite mm -hmm. <laughs> and king liam that's all i'm gonna say king liam <laughs> we also would like to be caught up with vikings november 29th yeah, we so we're like not to. sure. Like, it's kind of on our schedule, but not really because we haven't watched it yet at all. No, exactly. But we are planning on watching it and hopefully being caught up. Yeah. So. Our goal is to, after we're done with Westworld, we want to move on to Vikings because we want to catch up for that. And it seems like such an interesting, well thought out show. And there's Norse mythology in it, I think. Yeah, it's definitely I don't know. very interesting to us. We want to watch it. I, we're re yeah, it yeah. looks really good. From what I've seen and from what I've heard, is it's supposed mm -hmm. to be like an epic show so this doesn't have a day of the week because it's on netflix but we will be watching stranger things season yes. two and yes. now we originally thought this was coming out i feel like from the trailer it said halloween i thought it was halloween but on the twitter it's saying october 27th yeah so but whatever, whatever it's up whatever, we're watching we're very excited <laughs> and it's gonna be perfect because it's like yeah. a spooky time of year it's a good time and yeah we love season one of stranger things and we're excited yeah. for season two yeah those are all the shows that we will be watching. That's this it. Fall. That's a lot of shows, though. <laughs> that is a lot of shows. We will do a springish one, like one um the shows that we're waiting to come back, come back, and we'll do like an updated one. But these are just the shows that we will be watching mm -hmm. this coming fall 2017 schedule. Let us know if you're watching any of the sh same shows as us, yeah. if you're excited for certain reactions that we're going to be doing. Yep, we're going to do reactions to all the shows that we've previously done. Yes. If you enjoyed this video and you love watching TV too <laughs> and you watch as many shows as us, yeah. give us a thumbs up and please subscribe and be on the lookout for our reactions that are going to start popping up in the fall. Yes, I can't For all the shows wave. that we've done before. So like The Flash, Supergirl, all that stuff. Yeah, I'm excited to watch them with you guys and talk about all the shows. And it's a really fun time on the shows returning. It's, it's a good very, time. It's, like, it's, it's one exciting. of my favorite times of the year <laughs> when the great time. leaves start to change colors and all the shows return. <laughs> it's a warm, fuzzy feeling. <laughs> Yeah. I think all the show is coming back. So follow us on Twitter. We are at City of the Fields, and that's also our Snapchat. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.